Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Pugh. Whew. Okay. That's a good start. Well, I'm just gonna take a short break for now and then come back stronger than ever. Uh, later. Uh, ah, that was an incredible nap. I feel so refreshed and energized and... Oh. Well. Okay, okay, that's fine. There's still plenty of time in the day and... Uh, I'm suddenly feeling a need of another nap. Okay, tell you what. I'll get right on to finishing that picture after this secondary break. Yeah. Okay, I'm up. I'm ready to work. And this time, I mean it. Ooh, is that a blade of grass? Woo, there we go. All blades of grass accounted for and... Ah, oh, jeez. Why am I so useless? Motivation has always been something of a struggle for me. Whether it's been that paper for school coming due, or whether it's been the demands of work, or even fun things like making videos and art. Every so often, I really have to fight myself to get the things that I need to get done, well, done. And hey, I'm certain that you yourself have probably felt that way too. For a lot of us, finding the motivation to do things can be a tremendous struggle and can get in the way of a lot of personal progress. So today, I wanted to talk about some of the things that I found help me when I need to roll up my sleeves and get things done. Come on guys, let's find ourselves some motivation. Well, before we do that, I want to make it clear, these are just some suggestions and tips that I find help me when searching for motivation, and I'm hoping that these suggestions might help you if you're in a rut too. Of course, this isn't meant to be an exhaustive list, so please do let me know in the comments section below what helps you motivate yourself. I really do want to hear your take on this. Anywho, sorry for pausing there, onward with the show. Well, this seems like it goes completely against what we're trying to accomplish here, huh? Remember that skit at the beginning of the video? This is literally what it warned about. I mean, we want to get work done, not take it easy any longer. Right? Well, of course. Taking breaks when you've been doing a lot of, well, breaking, isn't going to help things. But this suggestion is more for when you've been doing a lot of work on something for an extended period of time. Like, for hours without rest. I sure know this happens to me a fair bit. I'll be working on editing a really complicated video. It's taking a long time, and I've been at it for hours. But I really, really want to get it done and finished and wrapped up, or at least get to a certain amount of video length done by the end of the day. But man, I'm burning out fast. I'm getting sloppy with my editing. I'm starting to take shortcuts. This is the exact time when you need to just take a step back, take a breather, and do something else, even if it's just for a little bit. It's tempting to want to keep going and try to finish whatever you were doing quicker, faster, but working beyond the point of taking shortcuts and getting sloppy with your effort is a surefire way to get burnt out and lose motivation to finish the project entirely, or at the very least, not be as proud of the final result as you would have liked. But when it comes to taking breaks, you can't just go about it all willy-nilly. Oh yeah, you'll totally get back to work in no time. You won't get lazy, right? Well, maybe you won't, but for those of you with the same amount of self-control that I have, I've found that the best thing to do when taking a break is to make the break a set amount of time and stick to it. Do something that takes a well-defined amount of time. So whether you'll get back on the saddle in 10 or 15 minutes, tracked by an alarm or a stopwatch, or maybe after a lap of walking around your neighborhood, you'll jump back into the work. I find breaks work best when you give yourself a set time frame and actually stick to it. After all, you don't want to get caught in the never ending break like I did. Okay, okay. So let's just stop for one second and ask ourselves, why are we doing this? I mean, right now you're probably just watching this video, but maybe before you were completing some homework or you were studying for a test or, you know, doing your taxes. What do I know? It could be anything. But why are we doing these things? 
I'll find that time and time again, when I have assignments for classes or even ideas for projects like making artwork or creating new videos, I'll sometimes find myself lacking the motivation to actually get started with them in the first place. I know that I should be getting these things done at some point, but I just can't bring myself to do them. Actually getting started is often one of the most difficult challenges for most of us when it comes to tackling a new task or a new project, and being told, just do it, only actually goes so far, right? Okay, so, for that school assignment, maybe you're doing it for the good grade, or perhaps you're creating artwork because it's therapeutic, it's fun, it's just relaxing. That video isn't being made for yourself, you're making it to share with others around the world. Seeing those positive comments make you feel good about yourself, or you're just excited to share something new with others. Of course, these are just the more positive and optimistic examples, but it's incredibly important to think optimistically about this. Obviously, it can be very, very easy to get trapped in the mindset of, I need to get this artwork finished now because I have a thousand other pieces to complete, or I have to finish this video now, 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 because my audience will leave me, or if I don't do well on this assignment, I'm gonna fail, and then who knows what else, and I fall into this trap all the time. But you have to look at the positives when searching for motivation to finish any sort of task, or at least make a strong attempt at it. Obviously, it can be easy to look at the more negative reasons for completing something, and those negative aspects, unfortunately, can be excellent motivators. But don't make a habit of it. Always remind yourself of the positives that hard work and a job well done will earn you. At the very least, make an effort to think of one, just one positive, and I can assure you that it will aid you and your motivation tremendously. But now I want to hear from you. How do you keep yourself motivated? And what are some tips or tricks that help you power through tasks, assignments, studying, projects, whatever? Let me know in the comment section below. I always love hearing what you have to say. But with that, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, then be sure to leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe, it helps support me for free, and it only takes a click. You can also find me outside of the show on DeviantArt and Twitter. I post real life stuff, as well as updates on projects and other fun things. And hey, I now have a Discord server too. So look in the links in the description to find all of that good stuff. But once again, thank you so, so much for watching. This is Tyndega signing out.